Hello everyone, it's Mojo Solo Dave. Today I want to show you how to make your characters jump and fall in the Blender game engine, precisely in Blender 2.7. So this is what we did recently in the other videos. We programmed our character to walk and to run normally. So in this video I will show you how to make your character jump and fall without problem. So let's start. So firstly, I have these animations I want my character to play. This falling animation and also this landing animation. So firstly, as we can remember in the other episode we had a collision, a collision bound. So now I want to add another collision bound just under this one. And I'm going to parent it to this collision here. So that when I move this general collision it also moves with it then make sure this is right down on the f and able to touch the floor so I'm going to put it down our character it's going to be a collision bound which will detect the floor so nextly let's give to our floor a property property called floor it can be integer or whatever doesn't really matter now so let's come back here to our collision and we're going to program it in such a way that when it collides at the moment it collides with our property floor it sends a message called landed and also another collision flow but this time at every every time it's not colliding with flow with the flow property is going to send a message in air which means that the character is in the air now we are going to instruct our amateur on what to do when it receives these messages so let's add message and landed or firstly in air So every time our character will be receiving this message in air, it's going to play a falling animation and it's going to be loop stop. In my case, it's from frame 0 to frame 22 and I will change the blend into 6. Then the next thing we have to do is add another message and then when it will receive landed our character will play this action our landing action in my case from frame 0 to frame 61 and I'm adding blends in to make it move gradually from one animation to another also don't forget to put this sensor right down here the one colliding with the floor on supposed to be sensor and half collision bounce box so now if I test it as we can see 
Our character will make an animation when colliding with the floor. But before that, she moves her hands while she's still in the air, showing that she's falling. So here, I positioned my camera so that it works, it follows my character. I parented it to my character collision. Now it's going to follow my character so we can see clearly what happens. So when our character collides with the floor, she does the animation. I also created another plane with the floor property so we can continue testing with all the other settings we had before like the working and the running to ensure that there's no issue but normally now if I work she can't there are some bugs so I will move to the animation my character's animations then I'm going to add or change my characters my amateur properties for this falling action I'll set the priority to 2 and for the landing action I'll set it to layer 1 now if I adjust it can see that it's much better our character can land walk then fall and still land again after so just to complete now we are going to add the jump system to make our character jump and the only thing we need to do here is we shall select our character's collision bound and since it is character with collision bounce box you're just going to give it a new set of codes like now when we press on spacebar and it shall have character motion it shall be jumping so we are going to click on this and you can see it works so now a character can jump and work and you can change or adjust all of those here in the settings jump force fall speed max step height and all of those So let's see the final result. So before that you can keep invisible all what you don't want to be seen in the game like this collision bound here. Invisible. So now if we test this. If we test this now, it's going to work correctly. Our character can jump, can work, continue working, fall down and land. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching Mojo Solo Dev. I program games alone and please check out the links in the description. My best fans can have bonuses can give ideas for my new games can download new files and special tutorials and can also have the opportunity to have their names written in my games or even help me in programming but not at all well since i'm mojo solo dev i program alone so ha 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 thanks for watching